Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Triple P. This is going to be part three of the tutorial series on CGO, the geocaching app for the Android phone. I have done a part one and a part two. Check out those videos if you guys have not seen them. It will walk you through some of the basics. This video is going to talk about some of the other features that the app offers. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. All right guys, so let's dive into some more advanced features using CGO. Now I have three caches in here to talk about the three different features. We're going to talk about uploading a photo, corrective coordinates, and uh, projecting a waypoint. So to add a photo, you're going to click on the three buttons up here at the top. Then you'll click on log visit. Now from here, once you're in the log, you're going to click on the three buttons again. You're going to click on attach image. If you are attaching an existing image, you click on existing. If you don't have the image yet, then you would click on new. But I have the image in my phone, so let's go ahead and click on existing. And that is going to pick up all the pictures on my phone um, that are recent or in my camera. And I actually want this cache picture right here. Um, now, if you want to come up with a caption for it, you certainly can. If you want to add to the description of it, you can do that as well. The downside of CGO is that it can only upload one picture um, when you submit your log. Now at the bottom here, there's OK and there's cancel. You want to click on OK. What that does is it sets it in the CGO software and prepares it to be submitted to the website. Um, you would go ahead and enter some text in here when you're going to log your find and then you hit the little arrow button at the top and it will submit the picture. Now if you go back or you cancel it for whatever reason, you're going to have to restep, redo the process to get the picture um, up and running. So only upload the photo when you're ready to submit your log. Now we're going to talk about corrective coordinates. Now corrective coordinates are used when you have solved a puzzle um, online. And I actually have solved this cache. So this is a good opportunity to show you how to do that. Go to puzzle caches I have solved. We're going to go to Maxwell Silverhand. We'll click on the pencil. There we go. There, those are the solved coordinates. We're going to highlight them, copy them. From there, we're going to close this down. Go back to CGO. Go back to the cache page, click on the three buttons, go to personal note, hold it down, hit paste, and now it's in your phone ready to go. Now to make this a waypoint, all you gotta do is hit north, hit the check mark, and bada bing, bada boom, it's gonna load it as a waypoint for you. Now, it has not been a corrective coordinate just yet. In order to make it a corrective coordinate, you have to click on it. And if you want it to only be a CGO, then you'd click the middle option. If you want it to be on CGO and the website, you click the last option. Well, I want it to be on both. I want it to be on CGO and the website. So I'm going to check the third option and I'm going to hit the check mark and it will tell you that the coordinates have been changed from the original to the solve coordinates and they're ready to go. Pretty fun. If you want to see them both on the map, you just click that button and it will show you the solve coordinates for that cache on the map, which is pretty neat. Well, we're gonna talk about projecting a waypoint. Now this particular cache is a letterbox. You have to go to the trail and then you have to go 15 feet at 140 degrees. So you might be thinking, well, how do I do that using CGO? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. You're gonna go to waypoints. You're gonna go to add a waypoint. You're gonna click on north and south. And then you're gonna click on cache coordinates. And that loads the cache coordinates of the cache that you're looking at. Hit the check mark. From there, you wanna go, the bearing is the degrees. So you wanted to go 140 degrees and you wanted to go 15 feet from those coordinates. Um, if you want to make it a final location, you certainly can. All you have to do is hit that little drop down button. If you wanted something other than feet, like meters, kilometers, yards, or miles, those options are available for you. I just want to use feet. 
I'm all set. I'm gonna hit the check mark and it has changed to where the cache is at using the projection. Um, and if you look here, the original coordinates are 387 and 272 and the corrected coordinates are 385 and 270. So you know that there is a difference between the original coordinates and the final location. Now, if you wanted to change these and make them corrected coordinates on the website, you certainly can. You would do the same thing that you did previously. Click on set the set as cache coordinates in CGO and on the website, and you're good to go. I'm just gonna set it this time as CGO only, and I'm gonna hit the check mark, and it will update it for CGO. When you visit this on the geocaching.com website, it won't show the corrected coordinates on the web page. All right, guys, this seems like a great place to wrap up this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Social media links are in the description. I'm currently uploading on Thursdays and Sundays at the moment, so check back for my most recent video, and I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.